Dear friends, how are you? It's been a long summer, hasn't it? I'm just glad that uh, this summer is almost coming to an end. It's definitely cooling down, uh, cooling down in Korea. Uh, it's been pretty cool for the last few days, and uh, um, I'm really glad that at least I can take a walk um, without sweating a lot. Um, today, I just wanted to ask you a question, a simple question. Um, what do you believe? What do you believe? When we say that we believe in God, we, we, a lot of times we think um, we believe that God's going to answer our prayers. God's going to somehow work things out. God's going to somehow provide uh, things that we need. So um, when trials come, when difficulties come, uh, when we are um, in the time of suffering, we look to God and we expect uh, God to intervene and uh, we, we, we expect God to do something about it. And we say, you know, we have faith in God. We believe that God's going to do something about it. Uh, and we really try to believe that God's going to deliver us from all situations. And if there is any uh, a hint, a hint of doubt in us, we, we try to fight against it. We tell ourselves, you know, this is just uh, Satan feeding me doubts and questions about God and uncertainties. And we just wanted to really place our 100% of our trust in God, um, thinking, you know, God's going to somehow resolve all these issues, um, deliver us from all these dangers, and he's going to give us all the things that we ask for. That's what we call faith a lot of times. But it is unfortunate, I believe, that when the situations do not um, uh, end in the way that we expect them to. Uh, we get really discouraged. We get really disappointed. And I see a lot of people uh, leaving faith because of that. At one point in their li in their lives, they used to really place their faith in God. You know, they used to believe in God. They used to trust in God. Um, and they, they really believed that God's going to deliver them from um, the, the present um, suffering that they were in. But it turns out um, things just didn't go uh, in the way that they expected. They prayed. They really sincerely prayed that God would come and help them. They believed in God they trusted, in, they, they trusted in God, and they prayed earnestly that God would come and deliver them. It's not that they didn't have faith, but they really trusted. They placed their trust in God that God will come and deliver them from that danger, from that situation, from that problem, from the suffering that they were in. But many times... Um, things just do not go in the way that we expect. I can tell from my personal experience, a lot of times, um, just things just do not go in the way that, we, that, that I wanted. I remember uh, the time that I was in uh, seventh grade. That's when my grandmother passed away. Um, I was raised by my grandmother. Uh, and uh, uh, when I was in seventh grade, my grandmother was diagnosed with, uh, with a brain tumor. The doctor told us that she doesn't have long. So um, our family uh, prayed. Uh, we, we, we prayed a lot. We prayed that God would somehow uh, come and heal her, that God would uh, make a miracle happen um, so that God would uh, start working in her uh, body so that somehow that she would be restored. 
Uh, we really prayed. I, in seventh grade, I fasted, hoping, trusting in God, that God would come and work, that God would come and heal her. But I was really disappointed um, about, a, about a few months later when uh, my grandmother passed away. So I asked myself this question, if God is really out there, why did this happen? God required uh, me to place my faith in him. And the Bible says, if I believe in him, you know, anything can happen, you know. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask anything and it shall be done to you. It's not, the way, it's not, it's not what the Bible says. And if I, if I would only believe, I would think that God's going to deliver us. I would think that God's going to make some miracle happen. Well, it didn't happen to me, right? So as a, as a young teenager, I started asking this question, Why? Though I believed in God, though I fasted and prayed, really, really, like clinging on to God, that God would come and deliver my, uh, deliver my grandmother and heal her and answer my prayers. Why did this happen? Why was my grandmother still taken away from me? And I believe this is, this is a question, this is a struggle, not just um, something that um, I went through, but I believe a lot of Christians are struggling with the same, same question. I see left and right as I travel throughout the world uh, that a lot of Christians left, their, left his faith, left her faith, because somewhere along the way, they think God didn't answer their prayer. Somewhere along the way, they, they experience that God has abandoned them. But let me tell you the answer to that question. What do you believe? When we say as a Christian, we believe in God, does that mean that we believe that God's going to do something about something? When we say that we believe in God, does that mean that we believe that God's going to answer our prayers exactly in the way that we, we prayed? When we say that we have trust in God, does that mean, does that mean that God's going to make something happen exactly in the way that um, we, we wanted God to do? Is that what it means to believe in God? If you look at Hebrews chapter 11, Hebrews chapter 11, uh, the author of Hebrews talks about what does it mean to have faith. Now, what happens if you believe in if you if you believe in God? What what what, can, what you can do with faith? He said he, he talks about all these people uh, through faith they were they were delivered through faith um, they uh, were able to stop the mouth of lions through faith they quenched the fire the, the power of fire through faith escaped the edge of the sword through faith were made strong out of weakness through faith became mighty in war through faith put foreign armies to flight you see i mean these are the promises that we we expect isn't it through faith our problems are resolved through faith we are delivered from our problems through faith we are rescued from our sufferings through faith god sends his um, heavenly angels to uh, to rescue us to just scoop us out from the present situation that we're in and take us somewhere that there is no no problem no suffering that's what we believe but let me tell you in chapter 11 35, verse 35, there is a transition. There's one word that I want us to pay attention to. It says, there were others. There were others. In Greek, in the original, in, in the original text, it says, alos, means, yeah, this set of examples say, if you believe, God's going to deliver. If you believe, God's going to answer. If you believe, Exactly how you prayed will actually, things will be 
uh, things will turn out like that. But in verse 35, there is a transition. It says, there were others, implying, implying, though they believed, the results were different. Though they believed, they weren't, they weren't rescued. Though they believed, they, they were not delivered. But what's the problem? It says, there were others who were tortured, but they refused to be released so that they might gain an even better resurrection. They longed for something better. So they even, so they refused to be, to be released from torture. You see, Apostle Paul and Peter, they both preached the gospel. They both were persecuted. They both were captured. They both were imprisoned. And the churches pray for them so that they would be released. In answer to the prayers, God started to work for Peter in answer to the church's prayer. God opened the prison door. God opened the gates of the prison. And Peter was delivered out of the prison. He was freed. But there were others like Paul. Yeah, exactly the same way the church prayed for Paul. And God answered. Earthquake happened. Prison doors opened up. But Paul refused to be released. He remained there. And that's how the church was born. That's how the gospel was furthered. You see, what this passage is talking about is this. Just because you believe, the result might not change. The result might be different from what you expect. Because God works in so many different ways that we do not expect, we do not understand. God is beyond our understanding. But this is what faith is. Faith is not what you believe, but it is about who you believe. We believe not that God is going to answer our prayers, but we believe that God is faithful God. We believe that God is a good God. We believe that God is a just God. We believe God, that, that, that God is a righteous God. We believe that God will make things happen exactly in the way that God wants. God's in control. We believe that our life our life is in God's hands. We believe that God makes no mistake. We believe that God loves us. We believe that God will reward us. That's what we believe. So, though the results may be different, so that the results may look different, from what you, what you have expected. We don't believe in the result. We don't believe in the process of, the process of getting to the result. We believe in God. That's what Christian faith is. Did you believe, in spite of all these bad things happened, did you believe that God is a faithful God to you? In spite of all the situations that just maybe a very inconvenient and uh, very uncomfort uncomfortable for you? Did you believe, did you trust in God that God still loves you? That's what faith is. We don't believe in things, but we believe in God. We believe in the person of God. We believe in the faithfulness of God. We believe in the love, love of God. We believe that God cares about, about us. That's what we believe. What do you believe? 